eight countries in two weeks, on foot. With just the clothes on his back and a few personal belongings, 33-year-old Kennedy Gonzalez now lives on the street outside this New York City hotel. We did not come to beg here in the United States. We came to work and do the right thing. Gonzalez tells me he came to the United States, leaving behind his three children in search of a better life. They're moving us somewhere else because they already took us out of here and we need a place because we don't have money to pay rent because if we could pay, we wouldn't be here. We like to work. We don't like to depend on the government. Many say Venezuelans like to depend on the government. That's a lie. Venezuelans like to work. These scenes outside the Watson Hotel in New York's Midtown shines a grim spotlight on the city's migrant crisis for days now in very, very cold weather conditions. Dozens of migrants have been forced to sleep out on these streets after being put out of this hotel. All single men were cleared out of the hotel, according to the city, to make space for families with children. A new shelter capable of housing a thousand people has been created in Brooklyn, but migrants here say the new facility is cold and crowded. Mayor Eric Adams said the relief center is adequate and reiterated the dire need for more support from the state and federal government. I'm embarrassed for my city. And by the way, I spent 20 years in New York City government. I then spent 20 years doing international human rights. So I know the situations in some of the countries that these individuals are fleeing. And I want my city and my country to be a place that welcomes people. More than 20,000 migrants were bused to New York from the U.S.-Mexico border last year. Meanwhile, non-profit organizations are working around the clock to feed them. Yet the migrant kitchen facility in Queens, for example, thousands of meals are being prepared daily. The situation is well beyond what you might imagine, um, especially around the need for food. We have people who are hungry, who do not know where to access their next meal, how they will get it. And so for us, that's part of why we're part of the grassroots network of organizations and volunteers that are providing whatever we can. The city's shelter system has been tested to its limits. But for Kennedy Gonzalez, he just wants to make it in New York and give his family back home a better life. Jody Jacobs, CGTN, New York.